I'm Josh Kelly, World of Wind, currently 6 0 fighting for the Commonwealth title. Um, follow the sport icon. Well, so David Avanesian took on PBK Josh Kelly, and this was for the European welterweight title. Now, this is a fight that a lot of people felt that Josh Kelly maybe too soon for. Of course, the team of David Avanesian was saying the same thing. But this is the kind of fight that I thought that Josh Kelly was really going to show us that he can mix with these kind of guys. Of course, so David Avanesian, he's been around the block. He's been right the way up to the top, and currently now he's, what, European level? arguably, maybe even more. But I think that Josh Kelly in this fight did himself no harm in many ways. I think that uh, the one thing that I will criticise Josh Kelly for in this fight was the one thing that I didn't want to see him do, which was showboating. Starting to showboat, get a little, like, like a little bit cocky. This is what I was saying about Florian Marku and the fight before and because for the first three rounds, I thought Josh Kelly was doing it well, but then, then round number four, he started to get like a little bit showboating and ultimately this this seemed to be kind of his undoing but at the same time Josh he did have uh, a cut um, over the right eye and there was um, a real bad cut I think it was, a, um, was on the back of the ear or the back of the head or something like that it was really really bad um, hopefully he's going to be okay I'm sure he will be but this is the kind of fight that I think that Josh Kelly will learn a lot from to be honest with you I think now he'll go on from leaps and bounds uh, but ultimately he did get stopped in round number six he Got hit with a very, very good shot and uh, Josh went down or at least he touched the ground with his gloves. Um, he gets up, David Avenisian jumps all over him and he hurts Josh again. Um, Josh is going down, Adam Booth throws in the towel. Um, is it a little bit premature? No, not really. I think that uh, Josh Kelly was, uh, he was in a pretty bad way and there was quite a long time of the fight left. You know, it's a 12 round fight. So this is what about... 30 seconds a minute something like that toward the end of round number six so there's still a long long way to go so i can fully understand um, um adam brew throwing in the towel but i thought that josh kelly did very well in this fight a lot of people will say that uh no that's it he's done he's a hype job blah blah blah, blah. i don't think so i think that uh, this will just be a learning curve for him hopefully hopefully now he'll learn quit your showboating that's the only thing, that's the only real criticism that I've got is the showboating. His, his arms, his hands, his gloves are not up often enough. And at some point, you're going to get clipped with it, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, I think that when he went down the first time and he got up, he looked perfectly okay. He looked fine, but clearly he wasn't. And, and Adam Booth can sense that. Adam Booth, he's been around a lot. So, of course, he will sense whether or not his fighter can continue or not. But I felt that uh, Josh Kelly was winning that fight in my opinion, quite comfortably up to that point. Maybe I'm, being, I'm a little bit biased with it, maybe. But either way, congratulations to David Avanesian. I thought that uh, David Avanesian um, done well. He done what, to be honest with you, what we expect him to do, which was come forward, pressure, keep going for the body, all that kind of thing, and to show a lot of heart. Now, Josh, he hurt David Avanesian. Was it in round number two? I think it was round number two, where he caught him with a check, um, a check left hook, and David Avanesian... He wobbled. He really did wobble. Josh jumped all over him. and But luckily enough for David, um, he wasn't that far gone that he couldn't recover pretty quickly. Maybe it's arguable that in some ways, maybe Josh let him off the hook a bit too much in the sense of, yes, he jumped on him and uh, he was throwing punches, but then he kind of like stepped back and has let David um, Avenisi get back into the fight from that perspective. It's arguable, okay? But anyway, it's a good fight. Um, David Avenisi was calling out uh, Connor Ben. After this one, so yeah, that would be a very interesting fight. I'd like to see uh, David Avenisian take on Conor Ben, that's for sure. But this is just another one of the foreigners coming over and defeating our guys, undefeated guys and that as well. So anyway, congratulations to David Avenisian. I hope Josh Kelly's going to be okay. I'm sure he will be. Um, but and, I, and I'm very, very confident that Josh Kelly will learn a lot from this one and will bounce back. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.